What is up, guys? Thank you for tuning back into the Hut Space Holonet. I am your host, Cravage Press, distant cousin of Darth Maul and Savage Press. And in this video, I'm giving you gameplay of Yavin 4. Uh, I believe I play right now, I'm playing as the Imperial Officer, which is my favorite class out of them all. My favorite looking. My favorite class is the Officer. So fun to use. My favorite, like, faction of Officer is the uh, Galactic Empire. Galactic Empire is my favorite faction. But, I also play later on as the Rocket tr Trooper, the Jump Trooper, whatever she's called. And then the uh, Death Trooper for a little bit. And since I'm playing as an Imperial Officer, why not talk about the Imperial Academy in this video? The Imperial Academy is where all trainees for the Galactic Empire's military went to. So you know what? Let's start talking about it. With the rise of the First Galactic Empire, the massive task of the reorganization of the Republic military training commenced. With the former Republic lacking an institutionalized military force, many regions, sectors, and systems relied on independent training standards of varying scope and tradition to protect their own localized interests. Occupying much of the Empire's early political focus, Galactic Emperor Palpatine, also known as Sheev or Darth Sidious, would oversee the absorption of Republic-era military schools four years after the end of the Clone Wars, inviting Commandant Balo of the Defiance Flight Training Institute, along with other senior officials, including the last naval chief of the Galactic Republic, Vice Admiral Talats, to discuss the consolidation. With the gradual shift of the Imperial Armed Forces towards non-clone recruits and voluntary citizens, regional governors revamped current training curriculum with rigidly standardized programs. The flags, swords, and other regalia of tradition were replaced with the uniform look of the Stormtrooper. Despite commanding a galaxy-wide empire, getting into the academies was very difficult especially for people from former Separatist worlds. Thane Kyrell and C.N. Rhee found themselves very lucky to both be accepted into the Royal Imperial Academy on Coruscant, having spent their entire childhoods training for such a career. In fact, while the Inner Rim worlds often fielded thousands of candidates for the Imperial Academies, the Empire strictly limited slots for citizens from former Separatist worlds. With the destruction of the first Death Star, many officers and cadets were pulled out of training to fill the vacuum left by the station's destruction, with the Imperial Command hierarchy left in temporary disarray. Following the Battle of Endor and the destruction of the Death Star II, much of the Empire's top military officials and veteran stormtroopers were killed, resulting in overall deterioration of the Imperial Martial Forces stationed across the galaxy. Cadets pulled, so that explains why, okay, in, uh, in episode 6, Return of the Jedi, stormtroopers were getting killed left and right. Oh yeah, I'm playing as the rocket trooper right now. Stormtroopers were getting killed left and right, especially by those little Ewoks. But it's just ridiculous to somebody looking at that nowadays, but it explains a lot why they weren't good at aiming, why none of, like, you know, it's because they were... Recruits who didn't even complete their training. Palpatine was impatient and wanted to rebuild his military fast instead of sitting back, taking some losses, and letting your military grow again. And then you bum rush them with everything you got. Impatient Sith! <sighs> Cadets pulled early from training often found themselves on the front lines fighting a war they lacked the will to carry on resulting in a high number of military desertions to the New Republic. Imperial academies such as Uter often found themselves caught up in the galactic struggle, often being destroyed by advancing Republic troops. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's talk more about their organization. The main campus of the Imperial Academy, the, the Royal Imperial Academy, <coughs> was located on Coruscant. Other academies were located on Lothal, Mandalore, Arcanus, Carida, Carida, I think that's how you say it. I don't know how to say this one. 
I've always had trouble with this planet. Sorry, boss. Please don't kill my family. Huts. Anyways. And Prev's belt. Oh, and u tier. I don't know how to say that planet. <laughs> Some planets like the Outer Rim World Lothal had several regional academies, including the Academy for Young Imperials and the Praetor Flats Academy. There were three types of academies. One year junior academies were used to prepare teenage ca uh, cadets for further training at senior academies. After senior academies, the most talented cadets would enter a specialized service academy for officer training with either the Imperial Army, the Imperial Navy, or the Stormtrooper Corps. I think I'd want to be an officer in the Imperial Navy. I just love the, the space battles. I love the starship battles. I love the inside of the ships. See, I'd want to be one of those officers that lead boarding parties. That board and fight on other enemy ships to either capture or destroy it or sabotage it, you know? That's what I would want to be. Lowell's Academy for Young Imperials was an example of a junior academy. Some known senior academies were the Arcanus Academy and the Marley Vane Academy. The Rathal and Korulag Academies were regarded as specialized officer training academies. While the Imperial Academy focused on military-based training for future servicemen and women, Compnor's sub-adult group allowed youths an alternative path to traditional academy enrollment. Rather than becoming armed soldiers, members of the SAG group were trained to become able body administrators and bureaucrats. So let's say you liked the military organization, you liked, you were, you know, proud imperial citizen, but you could be used in politics. They got you. They got you. They got you. Classes in the Royal Academy could include core world classical culture, security protocols and interrogation techniques, large vessel design, and amphibious battle tactics, along with training in flight simulators. Students were not only expected to remain in peak physical condition, but also learn battle tactics and the finer points of what it took to be an Imperial citizen. The Pro-Imperial Current Events class sought to promote a positive view of the Empire to cadets. While the Academy was noted for its rigorous academic programs, a high emphasis on competitive sports also existed, at least with, you know, the Junior Academies and had cadets complete an optical course known as the well, where ingenuity and courage were key tenets to success. Upon graduation, officers were enlisted as lieutenants and given their first assignment aboard, excuse me, abroad after the, a brief graduation ceremony. Top cadets at the Royal Academy could attend a ball at the Imperial Palace and spark contacts with high-ranking members of Imperial society. It was highly discouraged to take recreational time off, with the most members remaining in service until they hit the mandatory retirement age, or died. Well, that's it, guys. That's that's everything about the Imperial Academies. Let's let's talk about some notable students. Well, you got Sabine, Sabine Ren, and Ketsu Anyo both attended the Academy on Mandalore. Look at that! Before fleeing to become bounty hunters, Ezra Bridger. Well, he went undercover. He was undercover. Biggs Darklighter joined the academy, but he defected to the Alliance after his graduation. I because Biggs, I remember Biggs. And believe it or not, Luke Skywalker, which he says it in A New Hope, he wanted to go to the Imperial Academy for flight. He wanted to become a pilot, an Imperial Starfighter pilot. But his uncle forbade it. And aren't you glad he did? Ha! Well, things certainly would be different in our galaxy if if things were if he joined the Imperial Academy. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this commentary and I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I just killed Luke, I forgot about that. Uh, oh here's my death trooper. Alright. Well, this is Cravajo Press of the Hut Space Holonet, signing off.